Elliot Spitzer is trying to make a comeback. He is planning on running for New York City Comptroller, and he needs 3,600 signatures in order to get on the ballot. It seems like he will get those signatures, but is this really his moment of redemption? Let's take a look. I think Elliot Spitzer deserves another chance at being a politician, just like any other politician who's ever did anything wrong and got another shot. Let him have another shot, too. Actually, I think he would be a very good man now that I think about it deeply because I would much more forgive Spitz, uh, Spitzer uh, than I would uh, Wiener. I feel he should get a second chance because he's really good at what he does. He's like a fallen hero and uh, the mistake he did does not mean he's going to make mistakes in the other domains because domains are not necessarily correlated. And uh, for a politician, he's doing a great job. He did a great job. All right, it's great to hear from uh, New Yorkers. And of course, it was a little one-sided. There are many New Yorkers that don't agree with that. They feel that he did something illegal. And keep in mind that when he was a prosecutor, uh, he went after prostitutes and, you know, basically uh, any type of organization that solicited prostitution. So I want to hear from the panel. Uh, I want to know what you guys think. I mean, obviously, we're very liberal, so I feel like we're going to be sympathetic or more <laughs> sympathetic toward him. But I do want to note that he did a pretty good job when it came to going after Wall Street. He was the few, one of the few politicians that did that. And that's the reason why he got it targeted. That's the reason why people were digging for dirt. They found the dirt, and they got him the hell out of there. Kelly, do you feel like he should have resigned in the first place? You know, I think in the way politics works, probably yes, you kind of have to play that game. Uh, he could have fought it. He could have tried to, you know, tough it out and everything. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. There's there's something also great about the redemption story, you know. And and we do we do love to redeem our our fallen heroes in this country as much as we love to pull them down. So, you know, and and I hope that he's learned something as a man, and and learned something as a politician and like you know how to how to purport himself in his personal life and his public life. Mm -hmm. I agree with that lady. I mean, I think this could be this could be great for New York because first off, everyone deserves a second chance, politician, regular person, whatever. Number one, but number two, he's already done something wrong. He's already publicly been shamed. There's a good chance that he is going to be the most upstanding, more I really believe that that it may cause him to really and truly be the most upstanding and honest politician or comptroller as he can possibly be. So I think there's, there's and he was en route, people were saying he might run for president one day. So this is a guy who had just become governor, yeah. who Wall Street was afraid of. That's the other thing, is that they're saying that you know the media is gonna turn against this guy, not because of the sex scandal, but they don't want anyone that's against Wall Street getting back in the game. So I, I think this could be all good. All yeah, right. I think that's really part of what's going on with the uh, complaints about Spitzer getting back in because Wall Street is definitely scared of him. And if he does win mm -hmm. this uh, comptroller seat, you know, that has some, some serious uh, muscle behind it. You know, he would be the one that audits the city, audits the city's contracts, and that's billions of dollars going on there. Audits the city's pension funds, another billions of dollars. And he's talking about using the uh, position of the, of the pensions as shareholders in many of these large corporations to to make some shareholder resolutions. So there could be some big changes coming up, and I could see why they, why the Wall Street folks would be upset about that. What I personally hope me, that happens here is that this is the end of the double standard for right. Democrats who have sex scandals. You know, because we know, like, for example, Senator David Vitter of Louisiana, Diaper Dave, going to prostitutes <laughs> wearing diapers. I know. You know, I know. He never stepped down. He had his obligatory, tearful press conference, and then it was as if it never happened. But why is that? I mean, Democrats <laughs> don't run on family value so they're not even being hypocritical and don't get me wrong I get that prostitution is illegal I don't think that it should be illegal right. which is yeah. why yeah. like his cheating on his wife sucks as well believe me I'm not trying to belittle what he did but at the same time that has nothing to do with uh, his ability to be governor or a politician I thought that he did a pretty good job uh, the hypocrisy of going after prostitutes really got under my skin as well but the reality is if, if you have a politician that's going after Wall Street you have my support because not many politicians are doing that now some of his critics are arguing that oh he comes from a wealthy family and that's how his campaign's gonna be funded 
you know what? That sounds pretty damn good. I uh, would much rather have him be funded by his family as opposed to corporate sponsors. I'm pretty sure there's a guy named Mike Bloomberg in New York City who's also <laughs> independently <laughs> wealthy who decided to change term limits so that he could get a third term yeah. in the first place. Yeah. So I don't think being independently wealthy is something that New Yorkers look at and go, uh, not voting for this guy. Yeah, so what do you guys think a, a, a politician would have to do in terms of a sex scandal for it to be over. There's no chance for redemption, Kelly. An animal? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's the that's, slippery slope of I gay mean, marriage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the slippery left. slope, it's all that's left. <laughs> all right. And if it's, especially if it's a cute animal, oh, they're screwed. Over, over, <laughs> yeah. We just recently did this story on uh, the Young Turks about this guy who got caught having sex with the same horse <laughs> twice within a three month span. Like he got out of jail after he had sex with the horse the first time and then had sex with the horse again <laughs> and then went back to jail. I mean, it's incredible. I but I'm not Gene saying Wilder. any politician now is involved in that kind of activity of right now. Town, yeah. Yeah. Gene Wilder and Daisy, that's all I have to say. <laughs> <laughs>